To say Jose Mourinho was a bit tetchy after Man United's 3-0 defeat to Spurs, it's kind of an understatement. He walked out of the press conference when asked by a journalist about the 3-0 defeat, reiterated to them that he's won more Premier League titles than all other 19 Premier League managers combined. He's saying, look, respect me more. But the back pages, if you look at them, they're saying that Jose Mourinho is one defeat away from a sack. Man United playing Burnley away and not an easy game coming up against Sean Dyche's side. And I want to know, do you think it really is that close? Or do you think Mourinho is here for at least a little bit longer? Now, with Man United sitting on what is our worst Premier League start since 92 and we lost two of our opening three games, fans really, really are questioning whether Mourinho can and has the ability to take this team forward. You know, Mourinho is a manager who manages by conflict. He did it at Chelsea, did it at Real Madrid, did it into Milan to a, to a degree as well. He's a man who he doesn't put his arms around every other player. He doesn't want to get everybody on his side. He's happy to go on his path and his vision. And whether or not you agree with it is whether or not you're part of that. If you're not, see you later out to the side. You've seen it at Manchester United quite a lot. The treatment that Shaw's got quite a lot at his career so far at United since Mourinho's come in, Martial as well, Pogba. There are loads of players you could throw into this. And it's created a, a, a pretty semi-toxic atmosphere in terms of the fan feeling towards Mourinho. And if the results were going absolutely right and correct, it wouldn't be a problem. But that, on top of the poor football, on top of everything that happened in the transfer window, it's just piled up and piled up to a situation where the papers are now suggesting that Mourinho is one game away from being sacked. Now, the briefings from Manchester United, the club, say, look, Mourinho's got the backing of the board. If you look at those in the know, like Andy Mitten as well, he, say, he said it exactly in terms of the match-going fans are on Mourinho's side. They're backing Mourinho because of what we've seen in the turmoil since Fergie left. We've had David Moyes, which was an awful seven months. We've had Louis van Gaal for two years, which was turgid. Then we had Di Mourinho, who came in and won two trophies in his first season, finished second in his second season, and had an FA Cup final. We've seen real progress under Mourinho, but it's stagnated. And it's just, it's such a hard situation to get your head around because I understand all the frustrations, is everything that's going on. I feel like I'm repeating myself every single week, but with every loss that happens, with every game that passes, the situation deepens and the context becomes more toxic as far as I'm concerned. Now, Mourinho still does have the support of the fans and you saw that in his round of applause. He stood in front of the Stretford for two minutes after that game against Spurs and he just thanked the fans because the fans are still getting on his side. If this was Chelsea, Mourinho would be getting booed off the pitch already. That's the sort of fan base they are. Argue about it if you want, if you're a Chelsea fan, but it's the truth. Man United fans didn't even boo David Moyes until the very, very end. I remember when Falcao was taken off in his last game at Old Trafford, he had a terrible, terrible time at United. He got a round of applause. United have seen a lot of change since Fergie. And I think that's why I'm still supporting Mourinho, because I don't want to see that change again. I can't, in my head, see how a manager comes into a team that's still got, Fer still got four or five of Fergie's players, it's got 10 of Mourinho's players, it's got a couple of Moyes' players, it's got some of Van Howe's players, comes in and doesn't just want to sack half the squad off again and give me another two years of bringing three or four players in a year, selling three or four players a year and putting Manchester United in a stronger position. I just don't see how that is the case. Now, you might say I'm completely wrong, but I think Man United are right to... And I've said this before, got quite a few critical comments to say the least but I think Man United are right to stay behind Mourinho and I think the fans are right to stay behind him. Things really aren't going well but the players need to improve if Lukaku scores that open goal against Spurs it's a different first half probably a different result. Fine margins and that formation we used against Spurs I want to see Man United using that more this season make sure you check out a video I'll do on that at some point but I just want to know from you do you think the newspaper articles are correct in saying that Mourinho is one game away from facing the sack or do you think Mourinho is at least here until Christmas or at least here until March until the end of the year you've got to give him that three year spell he's in his third season now for the first time in his career I think he didn't win the league in his second year as a manager and in the third year now we see Liverpool running away with it Chelsea looking very good under Sarri 
City won the league by 20 points last year. They're still going to be right up there. And then Man United, we're struggling. It's going to be a bad season, regardless of whether or not Mourinho gets sacked or Mourinho stays. It's not going to change the context of the problems that this club has. Yes, the losses in Mourinho are exacerbating these problems. But maybe that's needed to get rid of the virus. There is the Glazers. They're not going anywhere, though, because the share prices are just hitting an all-time high. This is why it's very confusing to be a United fan. Loads of people laughing at us because they can see the results. And on the surface, it just looks like we're playing shit football with a shit manager, with some shit players. Get rid of them and it will solve the problems. But United fans know that is not the case. But I want to know from you whether you think truly that Mourinho is one loss against Burnley away from being sacked. Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.